Nerd Morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and today on the Nerd Morning Show, I'm with my older brother, Joseph, um, who is a mega Brandon Sanderson fan, and we're going to go yes. sit down and talk a little bit more Brandon Sanderson because there's so much that we could talk about that we will just never be able to actually touch. Without just sitting down and reading the books too and being like, oh, this is so cool, check it out. Or pause here this chapter, let's just talk about these ideas. <laughs> we might get hit with some copyright issues doing that. Though. Yeah, yeah, and I really want like Brandon Sanderson yeah. to be my buddy. Right? Like, this is like a life goal, right? Yeah. So let's not <laughs> make him and the publishers. Just roasting marshmallows with Brandon Sanderson and be like, so. Hoid. <laughs> right? <laughs> totally. Uh, oh, man. So, um, I think there's a lot of breadth that Sanderson has been able to do in his writing, which yes. is awesome. When oh, yeah. he talked, I, he's, I've watched, like, a lot of his different classes that he's done and uh -huh. actually recorded. Yeah. And if you guys want to get some really good fantasy writing training, he yes. has, he just recently posted on his YouTube channel the, his BYU class that he does for fantasy writing. Mm -hmm. I have watched every single one of those episodes and he has, he's done that class for multiple years and there's a couple of other places where those are posted and some of the earlier versions of the class. Mm -hmm. Anyways, while he's in there, Very he fun. kind of talks about kind of some of his personal journey to writing mm -hmm. and things like that. And one of the places, somewhere all in there, um, he talked about how he didn't want to be just this one grouping of this is what he does. Because there's right. some writers that like they write one series and they have to go 35 books in through that series because they're... They can't do anything they're else. They're blocked into yeah, that. They're stuck. And like, I really, really resonate that with that because I w I'm like, ooh, I want to try to do this. I want to experience <laughs> this. I like feel like this and feel like this. <laughs> and... Like, he wanted to have that in his writing experience. So he yeah. wrote his first book and got it published. I guess he wrote several books, and then he got one of them published. Yes. And that one was Elantris, Elantris, his first book. And it's now, like, over, I think, 25 years. Yeah. Um, so or he's been writing for a while, 20 years. It's been 15 years. I don't know. Probably it's closer to 15. But anyway. I don't know. He, he's, it's, it's, it's been out a little he's while. He's been having a pretty solid career. And for the past... Yeah several years he has pumped out two maybe three books two to three. Um, every year yeah. and he kind of keeps things fresh by jumping from book to book like his second book that he published was Mistborn and mm -hmm. that is clearly not the same world no totally different magic it's totally. tied into the fantasy realm that he it has is. and you wouldn't know it you wouldn't have I, to I, know it either you wouldn't have to yeah and that's the cool part. And so he really set himself as a standard that he was going to go in on this writing experience being not necessarily a multi-genre author, though he is, but to being an author that is going to be writing a multitude of different stories. Right. Lot, he, he's got some for kids. He's got some for more for adults, mm -hmm. really. He's got some... He wrote some novelettes based under the, within the storyline of some video games. And he's and also some, done one for like Magic the Gathering. So, yes, which is uh, so, fun. That was a fun yeah, story. <laughs> yeah, and so he's been able to touch in those things. I think his latest graphic novel that's coming out may come out by the time we get this video up. Next, the from the Dark One. Uh huh. Ah, and like you know, like there's. There's all these ties that he's done where he's done graphic novels, mm -hmm. stuff. He's at least partnered with in order to get those things right. done. He's written, you know, full, big fantasies, novelettes, uh, you know, yeah, a little, and a uh, wide variety of different type of writings. Yep. Uh, awarded um, for a youth, a youth literature award mm -hmm. for that book. So. And uh, his Alcatraz series is definitely like <laughs> one that I'm like... To my nieces and nephews, like I'm like, oh. these ones are for you. You can read these like pretty much now. And yep. those are, you know, for definitely younger readers. Oh, and, I enjoyed them. Oh, they're awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're just Honestly, funny. <laughs> if you want to be a writer, read those books. Because the commentary that he does <laughs> in there about writing and the writing experience and who writers are is it's hilarious. Funny. It's it so is. good. And who, really, where else?
else would you make librarians as a whole the source of all evil? Right? Alcatraz <laughs> versus the evil librarians. That's the title for book one. It's and so hilarious. It's just so cool. I, I, I love, love it. I love how he describes that one. I saw his, his answer to one of his forums mm -hmm. one time and his question to, why did you make librarians evil? And he just smiles. He's like, because it made me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> and like, right? this is the epitome so of just, living your dream. Yes. It's like, if you can go whatever work you're doing and you're like, I can like do this thing, evil maniacal giggle. Right. You've made it. That's you, totally it. what you want it's to be good. doing with life. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. So he has done a whole bunch. We've kind of covered that. Yep. His bread and butter is the Cosmere. Yes. And that ties in the first two books that he we had talked about with Elantris and uh, the Mistborn uh, trilogy, and then he has a Warbreaker. second era. Yeah, Warbreaker, um, the Stormlight Archive. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of his uh, short stories Tying are tied to that. It's and one of his graphic novels. Yep. Is in it. Uh, so there is a big grouping there, and essentially that is tied with a fantasy like prime world yeah and not spoiling tons but that prime world may not necessarily exist or it doesn't exist in the way it did and it in effect made it so all the other worlds are possible and the magics are possible right and that's essentially the simple way of saying how they connect without explaining any of that stuff which can be complicated and possibly wrong because we don't have all the details he knows what's going on and there's hopefully lots of, right, right? <laughs> no it he does i'm like pretty sure <laughs> and, and it's built and structured so that i'll give you this little piece here i'll give you this little piece here and as you go back through his stories again mm -hmm. you can pick out those little nuggets of Oh, oh, that connects right here. This is here and there. So his broader Cosmere stories are way fun for that uh, aspect of there's little nuggets. Everything kind of connects. Yeah. 